child. Oh, she just licked Whoa! him. Woo! Fucking me up, ah! I can't even speak English. Blah! Start speaking Simlish. Susu? <laughs> What's up, guys? It's Emily and Jacob, and we're the Dosi Duo. Yeah, and we are in the land of a thousand fables. Sorry, I just took. What I, the I just fuck, completely man. stole your thunder. What the fuck? We are in the land of a thousand fables with Sienna, who's kind of flirting with us a little bit. She is. Just she needs a to lay bit. off, because between Sienna and Anna Henrietta, I have to wait. Are you trying to get with Anna Henrietta? I'm so confused right now. <laughs> this anyway. is still a man whore Geralt playthrough, and we, we talked about this. So we're trying to find beans. We're trying to get a beanstalk to go out into the clouds. Apparently. Yeah. That's it, our ticket out. Exactly. And when so, we left off, we were talking to the big bad wolf. Mm-hmm. He was very French. Very French. And he... Cute little red Latin hood. Yes. <laughs> That's my terrible French accent. <laughs> and we're going to go hop down and, and get it or something. Get her hood, I think. Get her hood. And It's all very mor morbid. Wait, but... why are you handing this to me? This is yours. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> oh, I'm trying to share. That's so nice. And we still have our unicorn around? Wait, where's Roach? Where's Roach and unicorn? Roach, get your ass over here, you little unicorn looking ass bitch. <laughs> all right, let's go. Are we going to hop into the well? Time to jump in the well. Oh, my Break God. Break the leg. How do, we, how do we get out? Break the leg. Just jump in, Jacob. Have a little faith. And Geralt. And Jerry. It really bothers me when um, people from like uh, let's see. Go down. She dead dead. The hunter and the and little red. Yeah, she dead dead. That sucks. <laughs> Poor girl. Like someone from like IGN was talking about Witcher. Mm-hmm. Is he talking crap? No, they just said Gerald. And I was no, like, No, they didn't. F did you play the fucking game? It's Gerald. Gerald? I do that to be to joke and also because my dad's name is Jerry. <laughs> so it's just. It's yeah, just but fun. it's not G it's not with a J, it's with a G. Well, my dad's Second real name is Gerald. Yeah. But which he goes is by short Jerry. For, which is yeah, Jerry's for short. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's normal. Oh Do my god, look at that. Any luck? Yep. Yeah, I saw that. That would never fit you. Give it to me. What's, What's going on back there? How do I look? Like you want to be killed by a wolf, honey? 100%. Should I just be like, uh, you look okay. Ooh, not bad. Not bad at all. Not bad. Not bad at all. Oh. Wow. The compliments. Oh my god, they're flirting so hard. Big bad wolf. Let me guess. You'll play the granddaughter. Mm-hmm. And you, the hunter. Okay, don't fuck it up, Jacob. Me? Never. <laughs> you again? I thought that was clear. I will not talk to you if little Red Riding Hood is not with you. Not a problem. Sienna can take her place. What? <sighs> Sunglasses. Very yeah, well. With his hangover. It's as if I can forbid you. No, I know. <clears throat> Granddaughter. <laughs> come closer, sweetie. But, Grandmama, what big eyes you have. Yeah, Better to see, see you with, my dear. dear. <laughs> <laughs> what big arms you have. Better to embrace you with, my dear. <laughs> and grandmama. What better to eat you with. Eat you have. Eh? The better to eat you with, my dear. <laughs> oh my god. Here we go. That's how the story, that's how it goes. I know, I know. Big bad wolf. And he's coming over too. This is, why is, he should be very easy. Yeah, he's pretty fast for a hungover werewolf. Yeah, he is actually. Oh my god. <gasps> Back up. 
Oh, he said some food in his kit. Oh my god. He's fast. I don't burn. I see how he's hitting. I just burn. You get that combination done with the sword. Oh, I don't know. Four. Up, up, three. Four. Two. Oh my god, he's hitting it. Oh. That is the one bad thing about the Ekmarga decoction that I can't deal. So like all the decoctions, I guess. Yeah, all the decoctions that work. These ones I've seen. Oh. Ah! Yeah, now! Now, hit him! Powerful. Hit him! Hit him! Yes, hit him! Oh. Oh, what? Dodges. Yes. Oh my god, so much damage. Oh. oh no. You oh, I was him. about to be like, is it gonna go off then well too? Remember what Joss said about the red bean. A human has it, and he definitely didn't swallow it. Mm-hmm. Gotta open his belly. Aw. I kinda feel bad for this guy. Bottle caps, fake teeth, a corkscrew. Ah, here it is. Red bean. Well then, one step closer to our goal. Hmm. What? Now I find myself wondering if you're just horribly discreet, or if those mutations completely scrubbed away your curiosity. Are you really not interested in what happened? In what became of me after they cast me out? I am curious. Oh, she's making conversation. You're just less interesting than you think. <laughs> no, I won't do that. Well, since you brought it up, I'd gladly hear the rest. Let's see. They'd escorted you out of the duchy. Yes. And the noble knights of Toussaint and I didn't stop until we reached the Ketdu wilderness. They left me there alone, without a copper, in a torn lace dress, right when the frosts were setting in. It's really shitty, actually. They assumed something yeah. would eat me, or that I'd do everyone a favor and die of hunger. But as always, I failed to live up to expectations. I wandered the woods for a week, went purple from the cold, gnawed the bark from twigs. Finally, I saw a light among the trees. A campsite. They were bandits, bearded, drunk, spattered with blood. I was sure they'd rape me or kill me. Or both. Take it neither happened? That's when I learned a robber and a murderer can be a better man than a knight in shining armor. They took me in, we set off for Nazaire, and I did what I could to repay them. I advanced in their ranks rather quickly. Eventually, I became their leader of the whole ragged band. Do you notice, like, her cut on her neck? Actually, I hadn't. I'm gonna look for it now. It's like right. There, should have you stayed see. there, maybe. Can you? Perhaps. Perhaps like I scar. should have forgotten everything. Started a new Very life. I but you know what? There. there came a point when I thought, you wanted a monster. Then a monster you shall get. So she became vengeful, basically. Mm -hmm. Can you not see it right there? A little bit. Is that not just like a wrinkle? No, I think it's a scar. Man, I see it. I see it. Oh, the one that goes, the one that goes horizontal. I see. Yeah. yeah. Okay. The other one's a wrinkle on her neck. Possibly. Been through a lot. I have. And throughout this time, my sister was stomping grapes and shagging minstrels on down bedding. She wasn't the one to banish you. And I'm not angry at her for that. I'm angry at her because she forgot about me. Right. We've had Howdy. our chat. Maybe she thought you were dead, dude. I don't know. She did look out for her, though. Anna did look out for her in the end. I know. Like, she should have probably been sentenced to death for what she did. But, I don't know.
Oh my god, I'm dead. Oh, oh three, three bags. Three, so three stools, three beds, three bowls. One a bit too big, the other too small. The uh, third just right. Just right. Um, oh, Goldilocks is fucking up. dead, bro. Blonde curls. Rest of the so body's too mutilated. Hard to say anything. She got what she deserved, as I see it. Always took what she wanted without asking. Mm -hmm. Just like what we just did. Gotta keep looking. Straight up. Goldilocks is kind of a bitch. Like, why would she come up in the bear's house? Trying to see what bed was best for her. You know what I mean? There it is. And I'm now Down. breaking all the bears. Okay. I forgot what happened at the end of Goldilocks. Yeah. One was one of the stews was too hot. One of the stews was too cold. Too cold. One of the stews just, was just right. Just right. Everything was. There's one thing was just right. They didn't like me taking the food, the magic food. It's it's that's right. what woke them up. One was just right. Mm -hmm. Sorry, bears. Had to do it. All right. Let's see. Long locks. AKA Cinderella. Wait, should we go to um, Goldilocks real quick? Mm -hmm. Is that what Long Locks is? It's got Long, Long Locks is Rapunzel. Goldilocks is the one that you just found. Oh, no, 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 no. Rapunzel. That's in Long Locks. That makes sense. What's this? We'll have the wisp. It's got something to show us. Careful. It's not to be trusted. Let's follow it. <laughs> what? Let's repair the sword real quick. Strange. Doesn't look like he's out of any fairy tale I know. Wonder how he got here. In past times, Anarietta and I would occasionally run into them here. You see, knights errant far outnumber princesses in the real world. So some knights would sneak into the playroom, then into this land, in search of their fairy tale damsels. That's all. Only to be shredded to bits by a swarm of pixies. Irony's delicious. <laughs> Damn. It's not, not a fun way to go. I wonder if there's anything in that water. Where? Oh, in here? You wanna mm -hmm. check it out? Maybe. I'm kinda curious. It always grapple up her braids in the past, but I don't see it anywhere. We'll find another way up. Uh, this long locks tower? Indeed. It's even taller than I remember. Wait. What Joss said about the third beam, remember? In the possession of a bold farmland somewhere deep beneath the ground. So this here. must be it. Let's go. Because there's something. <laughs> and we're talking underwater. Cute. The decoction is best right now. Mm -hmm. I think I'll be fine though. Maybe yeah, yeah. actually. Could pull myself up here, and I'll have to make that jump. If you say so, I shall wait down here if it's all the same. Climbing stuff like strong suits. You just oh. jump, yeah. Oh. Damn. Another night, nice Sarah. Maybe, yeah. Prince's corpse. Tried to free long locks, but fell and broke his neck. Oh no. Damn. I also love Tangled too, which, so this is kind of like, oh. <laughs> this is ruining it for you? A little bit. Oh damn, we got a castle mate. there. Should we go over there? I don't know if you can go that far. Probably can't. Oh, you can't even look at the map. Mm -mm. Real quick while we're up here. Pretty, right? The who's, rainbow. Who's, who's prettier, the view or Geralt and his short hair? Uh, don't ask me that. <laughs> mm -hmm. We can go 
gonna go in there. Six-colored rainbow. It literally has three colors: mm -hmm. red, yellow, green. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Do you know the six colors of the rainbow, Emily? What? Do you know the six colors of the rainbow? Um, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. Roy G. Biv. Red, orange, yellow, blue. Those are also the primary colors. Roy G. Biv. Blue, violet, green, blue, violet, yeah. Yeah, you had it. You had I remember that still. Roy G. Biv. Why wouldn't you know that? I don't know. It's a random thing to remember. Jacob. 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 Dude, this Oh my god. I guess I should have known, huh? <gasps> Jacob. <laughs> what? You were like looking at the ground. You were supposed to. <laughs> How am I supposed to know? Oh. You can't even see what's going on with the puppy. Like actually her and she's dead. Yes, she hung herself. Oh no! <laughs> By her hair, I'm guessing. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh no! I guess we oh, didn't see God. that. <laughs> I did not see that. Jesus! I like I noticed that scene. I was like, oh my god! <laughs> I was like, this is fucked up. Well, I just saw the fucking was... wraith. Okay. No, I know. And then, like when I walked in for the first time, I was like, oh my god. That's pretty bad. So sad. Oh, I noticed this. Then that not was me. so sad. She's gonna come out of it. Oh, she's the only. Oh, could stab her! Stab her! No, no, no! Stab the fucking thing! No, 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 no! Oh my god, she's got all her health back and she went back to her body. I didn't know that was happening. Did you not see her? I, I saw the going up. I, I saw it. You need to just swing at her body, I guess. Well, you know what? I'm gonna get her. <laughs> Dude, this is a fucked up fairy tale end. I know! That was the one that like did me in. I was like, oh my god, this is fucked up. Yeah, the beam. Here it is. Would have stumped to climb all that way for nothing. <laughs> what did he say about her? Did he not say anything? He, right. did, he did say something, but I missed it. Okay, don't look at- Stop! Jacob! Are you fucking kidding me? Let's cut her down. This is messed up. <gasps> Jump into the water. Oh my god, the Assassin's Creed. Wait, I wish I could look at the map. I can't look down. I think I'll, I think I'll be fine. Though. Yeah, I know. I think you can. Just jump down. <gasps> yeah! Oh! <laughs> 10 out of 10. B bitch, that was too shallow to dive in. Don't do that at home, son. <laughs> do not try that at home. So? Got the bean, but long locks. Mm. Seems she got sick of waiting for a knight in shining armor. <laughs> Can you blame her? Men these days, dandies and fops all. That why you cozied up to a vampire? Deadlock <laughs> was a tool, and only a tool. Damn, Too bad he that didn't sucks. know that. I trust no one. Learned that long ago. Now it's his turn. Damn. Poor Deloff. 
to use him. Was that your plan from the start? No. At first, I was simply intrigued. Do you know the story? It was in Matina, a few years past. I'd gone there to pass some loot off to a fence I know. We were hashing out the terms when in walked Deadlock. He said he'd come to sell a silver candlestick and gripped it through a cloth. That caught my eye. I followed him out, observed him from a distance, but he caught on quickly. Yeah, superhuman senses will do that. He turned down a blind alley. I followed. He jumped out from behind a crate, baring his teeth. I suppose he'd wanted to frighten me. Alas, he didn't in the least. After all, I'm a monster too, am I not? <laughs> not frightened by a vampire? Really? A higher vampire and you were unimpressed? Don't know if that's brave or just plain foolish. Foolish. I've always had a way with ostensibly dangerous, quiet types. That's supposed to be about me too? Oh, mother, I hate to disappoint you, Geralt, but your belly button is not the center of the known world. No, you do remind me of him a bit, stifling all emotions inside you, ever feigning indifference. You oh. see, when I met that I... Somehow I knew, call it intuition, that he meant me no harm, that he was trying to frighten me off, for he, too, was scared. Now do you understand? I guess. What happened then? We talked, then met up once, twice, three times. Enough that he became infatuated. I truly enjoyed it at first, but only at first. He did not love like a man, but like an animal, madly, deeply, unconditionally, wildly. To return such a feeling, anyone would be hard pressed. Let alone someone as twisted as I am. So there came a day I... you just up and disappeared. Yes. There was no other way. Let's just be friends. Or I don't deserve you. He'd never have understood that sort of thing. But then, once I decided to return, clean up some old affairs, I remembered him and concluded he could still be of use. Playing with fire, that. Definitely. And either I'll get burned or I'll burn all else down. No other options. Got a history with Detlof now. So this meeting will be different. Not afraid? I can handle him. Mm-hmm. Sure about that? You look at him as a witcher and see a monster. I... I know what he's really like. You needn't worry. It's time to go. Just a bit more work and we'll be able to say sort off to this fecking fable sphere. Fecking? <laughs> This fecking fables. Now we must plant them by the path near Longlock's tower, then prepare to meet the giant. What well, I thought you would call me Kevin. <laughs> and the last part maybe? About the bees. Okay. <laughs> he always says feck. It's like his like fucking trade trademark or whatever. <laughs> so funny. What other like gaming YouTubers do you guys watch? Out of curiosity. Right, this is the spot. Pull out the beans. Pull out the beans. Pull out your bean. <laughs> um, I feel like do you do you watch any like other gaming? Well, you you watch like Shroud and. Yeah, because outside of the RPGs, I like to play like Battle Royale games. So yeah, like Choco Taco for PUBG is good. I like Shroud too. He's just obviously very good at games. I don't know. Jack Sepikai for the Detroit Become Human playthrough is a great one. Mm. I watched Carmen Keen. Wait. Not, not for the fan of heart. Why? The stalk will sprout abruptly. Very abruptly. We must be careful. All right, toss them. Uh. I'm kind of scared. It's like lightning and firework. She lied.
Oh god, we're gonna get fucking launched. Yep. Uh, something's always gotta go wrong. Oh shit. The home stretch. Just touch his tip. Dude, are we gonna climb this thing? We're gonna parkour up a beanstalk? I couldn't do this. No way. You know, I would die. Upper body strength. No, I would. I would. The rock climber. Oh muscles. hell no! I'm flimsy as hell. <laughs> Whoa! How the fuck? How high up are we now? Super high. She's actually... still wearing the like the uh... the cape. Yeah, yeah it's a little fucked up. Little Red Riding Hood cape. Dead body. Oh shit. It's Karen Warren. <laughs> okay. Admire the view later. I know, what is First, that? Is that deal with <laughs> I have no idea what it is. Him. Giant. Mm. Oh shit. The giant was a lot bigger in uh, the fable. In the fable, yeah. Golden egg. Wait, can we use the golden egg on him? No. But that that's that's what he was guarding. Was like the was so the goose that laid the golden egg. Uh, oh. <gasps> Jesus, he's like uh, he's pretty damn big. Uh, he burns out. He burns!
that's an option? I had <laughs> Wait a second. You can you can fuck her in the clouds. <laughs> Emily. Okay. First of all, I kind of hate her. But you hate her still? I mean, I don't hate her, but like, she's definitely between all of the female love interests in this playthrough, she's like the worst one. Between Sienna, Tris, Kiara Metz, Yennefer, I don't like her the most. Sasha? Shawnee? Who did I say? Uh, did I, say Sha oh, I said Shawnee? No. I thought I said Shawnee. Who did you, you say? Sasha? Sasha? She was never, I guess she was a love interest, but we didn't, we didn't you, you explore didn't, you that. You didn't have sex with her though. All right, let's just let her have her away with us. Oh no! Because I'm just curious. Who's gonna? I, I haven't seen this yet, actually. Actually, oh no! I didn't choose it because I was faithful. Oh my god, her hair! I knew it! Oh, ah! oh no, no! I thought it was it. Oh. No, it's it's what you no. It's as simple as you think. It's sex. Oh. Shit! Oh my god! In the clouds. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is not okay. Yeah, dude, this but is... But it's cloud sex. It's fun. What? What is that? Oh. With her little red riding hood thing, Salon. Whoa, she tossed it at you. What oh you gonna god. do? What you gonna do? What you gonna do? I've never seen this before. This is so fucking trippy. This is trippy. strange. Oh, this is supposed Spider Man? To be it's supposed to be a child. Oh, she just licked Whoa! Up. Fucking me up, ah! I can't even speak English. Blah! Start speaking Simlish. Susu? <laughs> <gasps> oh, this is so much. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Get in the clouds, girl. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> my god, she just fucking yelled. Whoa! <laughs> it's a roller coaster. Dude, Geralt, where is Yennefer? I haven't seen her in so long. I know. Yennefer's gone. My little cheese and my fat us. belly. Yennefer's forgot about us. Are so they cuddling now? Okay, this was very strange. <laughs> but worth it. <laughs> worth it. Oh. <laughs> so, like, nothing happened. Uh, let's clean up. Just gonna go our separate ways. No parting words. Did you wish to tell me something? Wait, Actually, no cuddles? And it'd probably be best. <laughs> oh my. No woman's ever treated you this way. Not that I recall, no. In that case, she's trying to hit and quit it. felt what so many women in this world feel at times. Oh my god. I just hope this tale has a happy ending. For me, for you, for everyone. That may very well depend on you. What's that supposed to mean? Nothing beyond what you heard. Dude, that's fucking fourth wall breaking. Come. The exit's this way. We just fucked and we're gonna just go on our merry way. People are just dying in Claire, but you know, we had to have a little bit of sex real quick. Just real quick. But I guess, you know, hours in or this mere world, seconds. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Oh my god. That was something else. That was something else. That was interesting. They were floating. They were floating. Another will of the wisp. Oh, wait, wait, uh, follow it. Oh, go down there. Oh. Oh, what the wow. fuck? Oh. Didn't know You would have this. never done this if. That's so... That is so hidden. Are you kidding me? <gasps> oh, that was weird. Whoa, came out of the fire! Okay, what is that sword we just got? We, we got like two cool swords from that wisp. Okay, it's weak sauce. Oh, but it, look at the buffs. Just curious. Why do you want the heart of Toussaint and the ducal wine? They were my right. 
My Jew. Doubt we would have figured you out if you hadn't tried to get them. Know that, don't you? I do. And I regret nothing. One lives but once. Here, we meet but jump into the well. You first. Really? Me first? Okay. Goodbye! Oop. Whoa! You're so pumped, aren't you? I have no idea what's about to happen. You like know something's about to happen. Oh shit, look there's fucked. You know what? This might just be a long part. Portals in a fountain? Not terribly practical. It was a secret passage. Anariette and I would use it to hide from your governess. Which, luckily, she noted down in her diary. Thus, I knew where to await you. <laughs> Never mind that. Has the young lady Two agreed to clean up the mess she's made? She has. And stop treating me as if I were a child. Would you prefer I treated you like the lying that manipulated you are? <gasps> oh, 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 fight, shot. fight, fight, oh. fight, fight! <laughs> Sorry, I'm gonna just pick readers aside. Siana, you've already run afoul of one vampire. Don't start a fight with another, all right? Then tell said other vampire to stop taunting me. I shall do my utmost. <laughs> we just fucked. That's yeah, good. I didn't pick her side, though. I want to be done with this. She kind of hit it and quit it, you know. Or did Geralt hit it and quit it? They both did. <laughs> Wait, is this the end? Shh. Yes. No oh, shit. Oh my god, you're dancing. Oh, it's a Oh my god. Dude, Delos better actually be there. What if you're just not there? I'm so excited. Nice place. Isn't it? Offers a lovely view of the valley. On a clear day, you can see the outlines of Duntine. Very nice. Is it, though? A ruin like any other, I think. Ugh, oh, so sensitive. So aware. Honestly, what did Declan ever see in you? Perhaps Ooh. he'll tell you himself. You nervous? Mm-hmm. It's always a bit nerve-wracking meeting an ex. Especially so when set ex is a vampire. I doubt he'll be in the mood for jests. I know. Oh, may I be honest? Uh. Yes. I'm nervous. I really would prefer just to run off. I gave my word I would help, I know. But how much is that worth? Yet I owe him this meeting. And that is that. Let's get ready. Dadloff will be here any moment now. I have to pee. Oh no. Okay, after the cutscene. <gasps> I'm so scared. Okay. <laughs> Stop. Stop. <laughs> I'm stupid. Dude, Dadloff, come out. Show your face. Oh my god. I found <clears throat> a fucking hair. That's great. That's gonna be my quarantine haircut after this is all over. Mm -hmm. It'll look just like that. That 
which bound us was a ruse. Dead love. It's not that simple. I... Oh, no. It's very simple. You either deceived me or not. In forgiving you, I grieve. For now, we must part. Oh, shit. What? But how? How is she alive? What just happened? The ribbon? The ribbon. It seems I've been fooled again. She will pay for this sooner or later. She will pay! Oh, shit. You never should have meddled with her! Even going with Regis's path, we we still want to be beefing with that laugh. Oh damn! Ooh, this is kind of crazy. Oh shit! Wait, I want Regis to die though. I gotta help him. Oh my god! This is some matrix shit. Dead off his poops. Oh, he's just back. Oh my god. Go, go, go. Oh. Oh. Okay, okay nice to do. No, oh, Regis. Regis. Don't die on me, Regis. Save him. Yes. It's actually so scary when they like, sharpen their blades. Oh my god. Oh, he thinks that we both tra See, like, he's fucking mad, dude. He's mad crazy. Yeah, Deloff is nuts. Oh, that actually fucking Damn, you're beating him so fast to hell! The sword is too too crazy. It's too go oh, oh. And Igni. What? What? What's happening? Oh my god. <gasps> what? He's turning into like a <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah. I don't even know how to describe what he's becoming. Oh my god. Watch out, watch out. Watch out. Start playing. Watch out, watch out, watch out. No, 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 no. I don't know how to dodge whatever he's doing. What's I, don't, I don't know what's happening. I'm just moving around. <laughs> oh, that, that's the time to hit him. Right there, right there. Uh huh. Oh, yeah. Watch out for the bat. I'm gonna dodge him when they come down. Oh, no, they got you. Oh, oh my health, though. Oh my god, you did you did the second life thing! I, that was the second life thing. That was the second thing. life thing! Uh, okay, oh cool. shit! That's so cool! Alright, pretty cool. Oh! But I'm fucked anyway. Oh I'm my so god, out. he's fucking you up. Okay, as soon as the bats come down. You kinda gotta time it. Now! Oh, you have to hit him as he's diving towards you? Okay. Kind of. No, he's gonna drop down now. Hit him. Oh, fuck. You're too close one. Okay. Okay, wait to dodge. Now! Okay, you got it. Oh, you I don't know him. if I have it, dude. You get too close to him. So he always, like, does that move, and then the bat move, and then he comes down next to you. Like, he's gonna come... Like, so he's, he's over there. Well, and no, I'm locked onto him. Like, yeah. He, he oh, what didn't. the hell? I guess he didn't go down. Uh, 
Hi. I'm so stressed. <laughs> I'm pretty stressed too, dude. Uh. Have you tried art? Um, let's try art. Dodge! Dodge it. Eee! Get back up, get back up, get back up! Uh, you gotta, you gotta... I gotta use Ignite, dude. I tried arting. So like... uh, he, he didn't dodge though when he was next to you. Emily, it's hard! Uh, I didn't mean to dodge forward. I'm so stressed. <laughs> I don't know if you can tell. <laughs> Stop! You're stressing me out with the backseat game and let me try. I'll figure it out. Aye, aye, aye. I could just use Quinn, honestly. I should just use Quinn. Because what, what it is is he does few moves, but they're extremely powerful. Yes. Yeah. So if I just have Quen on, I can... Like, I came back and fought him, like, five times. Because really? I like this fight so much. It's crazy. It's pretty tough. Freaking Della. Hey he's just gonna come back to life, because he's a vampire. Hey-ya! Hey-ya! Very good. Oh, no, no, no. What is that? Oh, you got cut. Yeah, this is point though. Uh, okay, I already used it. Oh, so well, shit. Yes, it is. Oh, it is him? It's not like a minion? Oh my god. Yeah, it's that lot. He's big. Don't ask me. Okay. Look around, though. Look around at your radar. Okay, get up those. Okay, you see the little blood vessel things? Get those. Get, hurry and get those. That will make him weak. Ah! Okay, okay. Yeah, get Quen on. Good idea. If I can even get it off. And then you have to get those first. Okay, you ready? There's hey, three of them. too much away from me. I have to figure this out on my own. I'm sorry. I know you want to help me. It helps. I know. If you get those, I think. I probably first. would have figured it out, but I don't know how quickly. Oh, oh wait, I have no health right those, now. Because those, I think, might heal them. I don't know. Yeah, what's happening? Hurry, get it. I don't know what this symbolizes, but just trust. Oh, I'm busting. This is helpful, 
mean, I want to hit these two. Yeah, it, it counts. Yeah, it is. It is. It's not, I don't even have to hit the monster. I don't know what call that thing. Show me what you got. Don't ask me, I don't know. We're gonna hit now! Drop them in, in uh, in what? In Mordor, in the volcano of Mordor, <laughs> like the One Ring, and make sure he never comes back. Pay attention. I'm paying attention. Regis, my boy. He went too far. I mean. <coughs> Finish him. He's trying to regenerate. Oh my god. Eat him. Only another elder vampire can kill an elder vampire, right? Do it, Regis. Do it. <sighs> Leave him to me. Be gone. Yes. I can't let him. I insist. Anything. <gasps> oh my god. Oh, you just give him a hug. Men can hug. <laughs> no, we Give can't. you permission to we, hug. We can't do it. It'll See, now you can look at me because something's happening on the screen. You always look at me like, <laughs> I'm like, stop, stop, stop. Stop. Dude, that was nuts. That was nuts. I told you. Delaf is a bad motherfucker. If I hit the stop, stop, stop. If, I, stop. if I just hit like the monster that was chasing me in that fucking little world that they created, the little blood vessel or heart or I don't know, what would have happened? Would it have still hurt him? I don't know. If you um, hadn't told me, I probably would have hit him like a few times and been like, what the hell is going on? If his health's not going down and I figured it out. But yeah, I was just panicking. You did panic for me. I panicked. My, what a smashing ensemble. You oh, we're well. getting dressed up again. I look like a twit. <laughs> is some of the best fabrics available and according to the best tailoring practices. Mm, this guy again. Mm -hmm. But... One must have a modicum of taste to appreciate this. Even the most exquisite robes cover only deficiencies in beauty, never in refinement. Damn, shots fired. Rather not bicker about taste. Don't like to. It's neither interesting nor productive. This particular witcher has an inborn intolerance for formal occasions. Yet he's to attend just such an event shortly. I expect that's the source of his prickliness. So try not to take things personally, Master Taylor. Rather pity him. For in truth, state fright overwhelms him. He trembles at the thought that he has no notion how to right now. in the presence of Her Grace's Majesty. As well he should. <laughs> All that being as it may, Toussaint's highest honor, the Order of Vitis Vinifera, Demands appropriate. Oh, we got the Medal of Honor. Oh, yeah. The Duchess cannot be expected to drape the medal on a suit of armor caked in mud. Palace protocol places enormous emphasis on form, 
Virtuous tradition, etiquette. His huh. hair. A tradition which values. Can we ended with this hair? Else, which calls for lordly, glistening triviality and misplaced generosity. This just reminded me. If we didn't get that ribbon for Siana, would she be dead? Yes. Really? Yes. She'd be dead dead. She'd be dead dead. Oof. A de dead. Sound wistful. Pensive, Regis. That because they refuse to buy you a new outfit. <laughs> Hardly. It's the tone I ever adopt when I find myself pondering, which, believe it or not, happens quite a lot. Besides, I've no need for a new outfit as I shall not be attending the ceremony. Why not? Because unlike you, I don't have to. I shall begin to pack my belongings instead. I trust you'll join me later, once you're richer by a medal and a fascinating new experience. Count on it. Hmm. Ceremonies. Medals honoring virtues. Just keeps coming up. <laughs> Looks so funny. I've had no reprieve either. And I keep thinking of the last great virtue, compassion. It's the one piece of oh. the puzzle that never seemed to fit. Mean you suddenly believe the five virtues theory? After all we've revealed? It's not a question of belief, superstition, or old wives' tales. It's a conclusion derived through exercising pure logic. Siana planned everything in advance. Had we not stopped her, surely there'd have been a fifth victim. One the gossips would have associated with a lack of compassion. Her plans don't matter now. Can't act on them. Ask the messenger who delivered my invitation to the ceremony. Siana's in the palace. Courtiers pressured the Duchess to lock her in a tower. Do you care not a whit who else was in her black book? We've some time before the ceremony. We could still chat with that boot-cleaning urchin. He was the one to pass the victim's names to Detlaf. Perhaps we missed something. Mm -hmm. I actually do want to do that. Um, but that's his first step. Yeah. Regis, Boot Black didn't say anything about making deliveries when we talked to him. How do you know he handled the letters? While you basked in glory and tried on new formal wear, I conducted a little investigation of my own. You'd be very proud to see how I conducted myself. I began Master by Richard concocting Regis. an ample supply of boot wash for our enterprising young friend. I observed that among street folk, amidst their society as a whole, reciprocity takes precedence over all other codes, and thus no good deed goes unrewarded. Of course, the same holds true for malicious or destructive deeds. The letters. What's the connection? When the boot black arrived to collect his bucketful, he hinted he knew more. Simply put, we'd failed to ask the proper questions when we chatted earlier. It took a bit more tongue loosening, but ultimately he spoke. He admitted he'd handed Detlaf the letters. He knew this information was valuable to me. In providing it, he was simply repaying me. Hmm. Yeah, let's go. You're right. Mm -hmm. All in all, why not check up on that? We'll go together, assuming we're done here. I am done, yes. It lies in your hands now to see if you are able to present my handiwork at the ceremony with the dignity it is due. Or if you will first destroy it crawling about the city's underbelly. <laughs> oh, push. Promise to be careful. Push, push. <laughs> Not. <laughs> okay. Sasha oh, so It's fun. the swordsman. Good to see you. Here for a spiffing? Dirty boots are a stain on professional dignity, you know. Step on up. Need to ask you something. Yet again? Go on then. I'm a proponent of free speech and I will gladly tell you all I know. But why not get your boots shanked while we jabber? Guess they could use a spit and polish. Except they're new. Then I shall take advantage as well. A friend of mine used to say boots should be as clean as the soles that wear them. Clean boots, oh, clean souls. Guy. A fine slogan. <laughs> How's business? How's business? Well enough, I can't complain. Though it'd be even better for certain folk to sit down for a shine as they stood and chatted. Man in the frock coat. You passed him some letters, remember? Why, of course. I'm young, got a mind like a steel trap, but... If you're about to tell me this information will cost me, forget it. 
How'd you get those letters? Beckers brought them. Why didn't you tell us this before, when we first talked? You didn't ask about beggars now, did you? Kids these days. Kids these days. Beggars. Tell us more about them. How many were there? Why, four. One for each letter. Just four? Sure you didn't get a fifth? I can't count, you know. Remember anything else? These beggars have anything in common? What? Come now. Each was different. Some had mismatched boots. Others had no boots at all. Oh! I know! They all had no home! Kid, my patience is starting to run a little thin. Now, <laughs> They're think homeless. Hard. They all had no home. Okay. Where'd they get the letters? They picked them up? Get them from someone? I don't know. They'd come, hand me a letter, and walk away. I asked no questions. Geralt, allow me to ask a question. Listen, lad. I'll be glad to mix another batch of that boot shine for you. But you must focus now and tell us all you know. Where can we find the beggars? Well, at the shelter, most like. Where's that? Everyone knows. It's just round the corner. Up those stairs, then right. Thanks, kid. For your trouble. We must visit the shelter. Look around inside. Wait, what, what can we loot over there? Over here? We can, you can listen next to the kid. Wait, he's on top of it. Oh. Oh my god. I mean, okay. Hey there. Greetings, Guardian Witcher. Thanks to you, my little enterprise is in ruddy health. Hey, he started us. Changed. All in due time. At the moment, I'm perusing my options. Asking after prices, verifying quality. You know, it's very easy to squander coin. But rest assured, I will spend mine very wisely. My, my. If you're like this now, who will you be when you're older? A very rich man. <laughs> if I were a rich man. You're pretty chatty. Nosy. I would say inquisitive. I'm sociable. Besides, a good tradesman ought to amuse his clients with small talk. Fair enough. Must know a lot about the folk of Beauclair. All about all, meaning everything about everyone. I know who slept with who, and who wishes they had. I know who's friends, and who'd slit each other's throats. Potentially dangerous, that kind of knowledge. Bah. But I'm known to keep my tongue tight, my mouth sealed tight. Why, if I blapped what I hear, they'd have done me in long past. As it is, all that's said on my stand, stays on my stand. Get many customers? Throbs and loads. Though I expect to have more. My trade always booms when the tawnies are on. Knight's boots get dirtier then? It's not just the boots. When they fight, they soil all. I shine their armor, helmets, belts, sheaths. They like them shiny as a dog's danglers. Oh, uh, pardon. Thank you. Take pardon. care now. Come early, come often. I'll perfect your look. And not only yours, but every man's woman's child's. Okay. That. Yeah. Okay, 20 crowns. It was just like his. <laughs> it, it's just like the price is everything. Yeah, come a mess, leave well dressed, you'll see I'm the bleeding best. <laughs> Cute, okay. Funny. All right, let's keep it. The bleeding best. This is a decent district. We need no filth folk bugging about. Gentlemen, there's no need to raise your voices. Let's keep our calm. Our talk is exactly what we must do. Your friends bring pestilence. Take work from honest folk and sponge off ducal relief. 
My folk do not harm us. And they've nowhere else to go. We don't give a flying fart. A flying fart. You? What do you want? To talk. Here, that's a waste of breath. We've tried it, only to tire our lips. We'll use other means of persuasion now. Gentlemen, calm, please. Either get out along with these flea-ridden vagabonds, or we'll toss you all out. Our patience is gone. This place is no longer a rank refuse dump. Scram! Decent folk live here. The shelter. Them living here bothers you. Question is why. Look, Ballard. Another defender of the poor. Fighter for justice. Damn nuisance. We for our women and young folk living next door. When even grown men fear to walk past such rabble. Decent folk you mention. Mean yourselves. Why? Do you doubt it? Hell yes. yes. Hear that, Hell Edward. yeah. He poking insults us on our own turf. We should step aside, time. good fellow. My friend is perfectly capable of settling this unfortunate dispute on his own. Oh. Yeah, we're, just we're gonna get our clothes dirty, huh? Let's go. This tailor's gonna be pissed. Yeah. Yeah. Streaming from. And, uh, oh, close. I missed it. I'm trying to get this. Gotta get some boxing in for the end of the game. I like it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> I could take a hint. Come, time to go. I thank you so much for your aid. I tried to reason with them, but they'd have beat me blue had you not come along. I'm grateful. Immensely. What did they want from you? They are neighbors. Wish me to take my folk, the shelter, elsewhere. They dislike that I help the beggars. I do not oppose going elsewhere were we to have somewhere to go. But you've come with a problem, have you? My turn to eat you. Hmm. What is this place? Poor house? You could call it that. They come here to rest and eat a hot meal. How much shall they? You help mm -hmm. them, why? Because they need help. Aww. Good boy. <laughs> need some information. Looking for a man who might have mentioned the boot black in Rue de Garl. The boot black? A feisty lad. I know him. Any of your, uh, wards supposed to meet him recently or soon? Forgive me. Those I help and I are not so close that I would know. But should you wait, they'll all soon come for their meal. You can question them yourselves. Sure all your usual beggars will be here? They're not obliged to come, of course. But they rarely find a decent meal elsewhere. So, almost all in the area eat here. Hmm. Thanks. We'll wait. Nice of you to let us. 
interesting that they allow you to tie up that loose end of figuring out, well, hopefully figuring out who the fifth person is. Mm-hmm. Should I know? Like, is there any hints? Don't tell me. My dears, I have a matter to address before I serve this room. These two gentlemen have some questions of you. Pay attention. Answer in brief. For if you draw it out, your soup will go cold. And we wouldn't want that, would we? Recently, four of you delivered sealed letters to the boot black. I know this. Does anyone know what the gentleman means? Go on, speak up. Romain? Why should I squeal? We're all told not to mention the letters. We all swore. You can tell me, Romain. You were given a letter and you delivered it, right? Good work, Romain. Thank you. Who else? I got the one too. Uh, gave it to the boot black. And Freshy, he got one. But he can't tell you, as he's not here. I still have mine. I'm to deliver it two days after the Feast of St. Barnabas. It's a matter of importance to the duchy. Hand it over, or I'll take it from you, plain and simple. But I was to deliver it personally. Let no one else see it. That is what she said, and she was frightening. You ought to heed folk who are kind and honest. This man helped me a short while ago, helped all of us. If this individual threatened you, you need not keep the promise you made. All right, take it. I didn't want to see the boot black anyways. It's always muddy there. <laughs> Thank you, dude. <sighs> wait, wait, should we pause and guess it? Is it I... Damien? Is it Damien? All right, who? Uh -huh. Damn it. What is it? Another name, truly? See for yourself. Oh, is it the de is it Anna oh. Henrietta? I I must say, even I did not expect this. This time you will see to our Duquesa. Yeah. It seems we underestimated Siana rather grossly. Judging by this, Detloff was literally supposed to tear her heart out. Yet first you must snap her neck. Puzzling. I kind of guess it. I mean, I second guess. <laughs> Damn. Puzzle complete now. Alas, the matter ceased to be a tantalizing brain tease and has turned incredibly grave. We've proof of a plot to assassinate Toussaint's ruler. We've proof of a coup d'etat. <laughs> Duchess was to be Detloff's last victim. Sienna planned it from the start. Indeed. The logical conclusion, Geralt. Four seemingly random victims to start. The virtue's their only link. Enough to get folk talking about a righteous, vengeful beast. Obscured the victim's links to Siana, even as she had those she despised killed off one by one, leaving the Duchess for last. Had she managed to fulfill her plan, none would have questioned the reasons. Most would have thought Anna Henrietta had died for her sins. She was known to show a hard heart on many occasions. Ample proof of a lack of compassion. Why would Sienna murder her own sister? Out of envy? To take power? From an inborn penchant for evil? Yes, yes and yes. All seem likely, and none are mutually exclusive. But if you'd like to know for certain, you could always ask him yourself. Hmm. Might as well, right? Set. Yeah. Actually, love to learn her motives. Praiseworthy, I suppose. Sometimes one should stare evil in the face. Seems a bit strong, no? She used my friend as her tool for killing. I believe I've every right to condemn her. But I support your lust for the truth. Some philosophers think empirical examination the sole path to knowledge. I believe you mentioned the Duchess keeps Siana locked up. Courtiers were insisting on a harsher punishment. Much harsher. Think Anna Henrietta had to protect her sister from a lynch mob as much as she wanted to protect her subjects from a criminal. 
One way or another, she's locked away in a secluded wing of the palace, awaiting trial before a court of law. I'd need to get past some guards to see her. Coming with? Of course not. I shall await you at Mayor Lachey's long. I'll not risk entering the palace after Detlaf and his minions' rampage. Besides, I vastly prefer the company of a simple mug of mandrake brew to that of the Duchess's vile sister. So, said straight up, it means you're going off to get drunk because you hate Siana. I've never been fond of categorical statements of that kind. But I admit I could not vouch for my behavior in her presence. <laughs> she treated Detlaf cruelly, caused his death in the end, and now this? Atop all that? No, Geralt. I will not go with you. I will await you at the cemetery. And she's definitely to blame, but also that kind of revealed that last true colors to a certain extent. He's a psycho. I'm a psycho. He's an emo boy. I think we just gotta make this one long last last part, right? Yeah, let's just do it. Okay. Will I die? It's real. What? <laughs> no, you would die. You would. I'm for sure dead. No. <laughs> We you, have to get one last did, falling you death did, You did that on purpose! Well, time to say. I'm getting grapes. I'm getting grapes. There we go. Egypt. What did you say to me, Emily? Egypt. What did you say to me? Egypt. No! What did you say? Jacob! What did you say to me? If I could do this all day. And I want to know why. Sianna wants to kill her sister. She's Please a bad girl. It. Other than that, obviously she's a bad girl. She's a bad, bad. Oh. Halt. Need to see Sianna urgently. In the matter of. Want to talk to her. It's important. Want to talk? Go see your gran at tea time. Not one locked up on the Duquesa's orders. No doing without special permission. Period. Found some information important to her case. Need an explanation. Urgently. Ah, fine then. You're that witcher who solved the murders, no? Yes. Then you for my permission, but only for a few minutes. Promise to be brief. I can't believe you fucked her. Oops. What are you gonna do with that sword? I have no idea. Hey, we have some extra sword racks available at our at our vineyard, dude. Make our house look even more special. The Witcher will speak with the inmate. You can take a momentary break. As long as it's truly but a moment. Highly irregular this. Hey babe. Have you come to see how I fare? I'm fine, thank you. Artorius's ribbon worked wonders. It's a shame they took it from I me. I know who the fifth victim was supposed to be. Goodness, you're simply a compulsive snoop. I'm in prison. Deadlaf is dead. Could you not just drop it? Sienna, no. stop pretending you couldn't care less. I know it's an act, and it's really starting to wear. Oh. Why do you want to kill her? For such an accomplished investigator to ask about the obvious, Come now, Geralt. Why do you think? Because she turned her back on you, then banished all memory of you? Bravo, Geralt. Yet another riddle solved, and your sick curiosity sated. Well, what now? Off to share your discovery with Anna Henrietta. Oh, she's no longer in danger, true. But she very well might add a little something to your reward. Definitely gonna tell her. Not necessarily for the coin, though. Then why do it at all? She ought to know. If only because you'll probably try to kill her again if she ever lets you out. I probably will. It's really fucked up. Damn. Some of y'all said y'all liked her. Either. Perhaps, just for a second, you could stop dwelling on all the wrongs folk have done you, and forgive her. Why should I? For old time's sake, 
you loved each other once. Please. I don't know who fed you that rubbish, but... Read your governess's diary. You played together. We're inseparable. Honoria would get you into trouble sometimes, sure. But there were also times she stood up for you. When you had nightmares, only she could calm you. Time eats away at memories, distorts them. Sometimes we only remember the good. Sometimes only the bad. True. Is she supposed to hit something? If she loved me so, why did she wash her hands off me? Forget me. Hmm? Don't know. But you could just ask her instead of sending monsters after her. There's nothing she could say to change what she did to me. To justify it. She might have thought you were dead, Maybe. dude. Maybe. But there's nothing out there to justify what you did to her and all Toussaint. Yet Anna Henrietta hasn't given up on you. Ugh. You meant what you said in the Land of a Thousand Fables. You really want a happy ending to this story, don't you? Ah, with all of us living happily ever after. Go, Witcher. Or they'll give your medal to another. And that would be a shame. Farewell, Siana. She gets this nice view. Not the worst prison. Mm hmm. That looks like Mont Saint Michel. Dude, that's the same. Oh my god. Commander de la Tour would like to see you. Shall we go at once? Yes, yes. Yeah, let's, let's go. Want to see him too. Damien. Geralt, it's about time. Ready for the ceremony. Did he still have a cut in his nose? Ooh, his face is kind of burned. Was it like. What? It's cut. Oh, on the side? Mm hmm. Mm. Did you not notice that in, when the vampires. Well, I, I saw he got messed up, but I, I didn't think it would heal like that. Oh, no, he got slashed on the face. I know. Don't look too good here. Oops. Yeah. Your face doesn't look good. Though it looked even worse last I saw you. I apply a balm of Annika. Yeah, I hardly feel it anymore. Hmm. Can you choose both? Oh, I don't know. I'm gonna do that first. Got some important information. Anna Henrietta was supposed to be Detloff and Siana's fifth victim. You are certain of this? Completely. Found proof. Inconceivable. How could she? murders, the mayhem she brought down on the city, were they not enough? She sought to strike down her own sister, her liege, traitor. I must alert my men, enlarge the Duchess's honor guard, make certain Sylvia Anna is closely watched during the questioning. I'll see to it personally. I thank you, Witcher, for mm. alerting me, and I appreciate your attentiveness. Let's begin the ceremony. Come with me. The Duchess awaits. Mm, guess you can't do both. It's fine. I think. Never mind. <laughs> Bitches love gazebos. In the <laughs> guild's name, I beg your assistance, your enlightened highness. Without barrels, production will come to a stop, and it will be the end of us. You lost them all in the fire. These are horrible tidings. Oh, we are most dreadfully saddened. Yes, your enlightened highness all. Once the beasts had clawed their way into the warehouse, the whole place went up in flames. I shall dispatch a palace guardsman to examine the site of the blaze. If things are as you say, fitting compensation shall be paid from the ducal treasury. Thank you, your enlightened highness. Your grace, Geralt of Rivia has arrived. My dear subjects, we come now to our next point of business. Of all the duties which fall upon my shoulders, as the ruler of this dominion, 
This duty is dearest to my heart. For now, we shall award the Order of Vitis Vinifera, Tucson's highest honor. Geralt of Rivia, <laughs> Slayer of the Beast of Portland. Step forth. <laughs> He's just like fucking Dublin. <laughs> we bestow the distinction upon the Witcher, who saved Beauclair from the terrible beast. Such is our desire. Yeah. You're gonna May the symbol serve right. as a reminder to all that the Witcher shall forever remain a friend of Beauclair. In more familiar terms now, I thank you immensely, Geralt. Damien has your reward for you. After all, it was but a contract. Thank you. I have a small surprise for you, in addition. I Five give you more pounds. than a dozen barrels of Son Real, a wine normally reserved for the ducal table. The gustatory experience of a lifetime awaits. Are you content? Seems so out of place to even mention that right now. Yeah, maybe not. Um, truly odd. Feels like a second distinction. I'm honored. Thank you. I trust you shall make good use of it. In a moment, I shall speak to Siana. Will you assist me? You returned my sister to me. Yet you also showed me her horrendous deeds. As head of state, I must judge her fairly. But she is my sister. Thus my heart bleeds for her. If my presence will help in any manner, of course I'll stay. We shall now question a person implicated in the murders which recently ravaged our fair city of Beauclair. Captain de la Tour, show Sylvia Anna in. Sylvia. Shoot, by Siana for short, I guess. Yes, so. Anrieta, I guess that's what's her name for short. The Witcher will take part in our talk. The Duchess requested I be present. You have committed crimes. Grave crimes. Yet you are my sister. And my heart does not allow me to treat you as a common criminal. Thus I have asked Geralt to advise me. As one in partial, I shall now Not hear what he all. has to say. Oh. <sighs> okay. What she's guilty of is like not defensible. She's guilty, like, she's beyond guilty. In my opinion. Thoughts, then? What do you have to I say? don't want to interfere. No, no, I, I, I'm going to pick this. But what are your, what's your thoughts? Give me your opinion on the matter. I said die. No. I can't say anything. Why? <laughs> Why not? Give me, give us your opinion. People what are you doing? Know. I'm picking that she's guilty, and that's what matters. But what are you going to pick? Or what would you have yeah, picked? I mean, she's like, yeah, she's super guilty. But I'd probably pick the first one. Because you feel bad for her? A little bit, and it's like less like... Your grace, Sienna's guilt is clear. What'd you, what'd you choose? Cause to doubt yeah. it. But before what'd you, you choose? decide, you should hear her out. The right I said to she's guilty. Is hers, the, the last one was yeah. stand accused. What is he talking about, Sienna? Okay. You know exactly what. I was forcibly exiled, remember? to your benefit. You knew well the throne would then be yours, though I was the elder. The 
ministers, I can understand. They'd hated me since I was a child, thought me a poor prospect for the wife of a duke. I even understand our parents. I'd always sensed the problem. They simply feared me, for I dared to be free. That fabricated curse, it fell into their laps. A gift from above that brought relief. But you... You and Dagger hurt most. You were my honorietta, dammit. My darling little sister. Now do you understand, Witcher? She betrayed me. How? Oh, I'm sorry. Claim to understand them all? Why'd you come back for revenge? Have them all cut down then? They deserved my vengeance. They detested me, all of them, as long as I can remember. But Honorietta understood me. Once. She was all I could cling to. Her betrayal hurt the most. You were children then. You and your sister both had no control over what happened. You're wrong, Witcher. She had control. Remember, dear sister, the day they banished me from the palace. Of course, oh. I'd had the idea to pelt the Nilfgaardian envoy with fish bladders, which we filled with rancid suet on a lark, and which you set afire at the last to impress me, I imagine. And I admit, you did. Hit him right in his hideous bold patch. Never laughed so hard in my life. But when it came time to find the culprit, you said not a word. I took all the blame and all the punishment. So they were pranksters. Yeah. It's true. I did not stand up for you. I was too afraid. The council was unanimous. They listed all my offenses, my flights from the palace. Supposed acts of cruelty, inappropriate friendships. They cast me out, but you, the only one to understand me, you cowered in a corner, lifted not a finger to help. Not before, not after. You never tried to find me. That's not true. I searched for you, sent out knights, gathered tidings from without. You did not wish to be found. Since the day you vanished, I have lived with the knowledge that I failed you. I'm sorry, dear sister. Can you forgive me? Is she tickling her? Mm-hmm. No, I, was I just like, got nervous for a second. Oh my god. <laughs> that right there. I'm is not called, gonna tell you why though. That right there is called nepotism. I'm not I, gonna tell you why though. That bitch deserves to die. I'm not gonna tell you why I got nervous. Okay, good. Why'd you get nervous? All in all, best part of the whole ceremony, it was short. Perhaps for you, as you ducked out early, the others are probably just getting started. And drunkenness never ends in this quaint realm. Not so fond of Toussaint after all, are we? Oh, this place is like a strong wine cup. Good in small sips. <laughs> How do you find time? my personal brew? Not too strong. Just right. Credit the local mandrake of the Alrauna Diabolus variety for that. The tubers which grow in this area's volcanic soil have an altogether unique flavor profile and display a remarkably uncommon dark brown tint. Fascinating. All I can say is this batch turned out excellent. Indeed. It might be wise to stockpile some roots for the future. 
Would you care to accompany me? You decide to go root picking now? It's dark out. Oh, Geralt. Even were I generously to assume it had simply slipped your mind that I'm a vampire and thus need no light to see, I'd never believe you had also forgotten that you likewise have absolutely no <laughs> trouble seeing in the dark. So, shall we? That's not true. Me personally, <laughs> controlling Daryl, I cannot see in the dark at all. But alright, fine, let's go. If you think it's a good idea, let's go. And I think you might be forgetting one thing. Fresh mandrake root of this variety is highly toxic, even to a witcher. Ah, not a problem. I never forget matters of safety and hygiene in alchemy. Here, gloves and a mask. Don them, and you shall be in no danger. Thanks. Right then, let's go. This is so random. Yeah, no. This moonlight makes me oh so dreamy. Penny for your thoughts. Real quick. Oh, I see. Cute. Let me guess. Succubus twins? Uh, no, I was thinking about. Oh, how anything can look interesting when properly lit. Even an old necrophage corpse? You've not an ounce of refinement in you, have you? Nope. Whoa. Now, where'd that bloodsucker go? Won't be easy to track down. He's a vampire, after all. Damn it, where'd you go? Hello. You just you sneaky bastard. Regis. Traitor. Alas, we have a very simple code of honor, we vampires. So simple you might call it trivial. Either one is with us, unconditionally, regardless of the circumstances, or... Won't let it go, will they? They will not. Fortunately, we have another rule. An unwritten one, and just as trivial as the first. It is neatly summarized in the saying, out of sight, out of mind. That is why I must leave Toussaint. For a vastly long time, most like. Yeah, I get it. Ugh. Let us make for my camp. I have an overwhelming desire to have another drink. Hmm. Regis was a homie. He will be missed. Mm. Supreme bouquet. Firm, defined beginning, then developed gently, rising to a, a startling finish. Don't you think? Not <laughs> much of a connoisseur. Then it is high time you started your education. After all, the Corvo Bianco vineyard is now yours. By the way, I left a gift for you in your new home. Aww. On the nightstand. <laughs> Thanks. Mind telling me what it is? Ugh, a trifle. That will nonetheless be useful should you need mutagens. Incidentally, have you thought about what you'll do with your prize? Shall you hang your swords over the mantle and take to pruning vines? Ooh. What? We're deciding our retirement our retirement plans right now? I'm just gonna say don't know yet. He kind of deserves a nice retirement, though. Mm -hmm. uh, don't really know yet. I'd find the life of a hard-working vintner too tempting one day. Or maybe I'll just stick to the path, go on roaming, staring up at the stars after laying my bedroll at the roadside. Ah, roadsides, bedrolls, and the sky above. I sense some poetry coming on. 
which of course brings to mind Dandelion. I can remember a night, not too far from here if I'm not mistaken. We hid in a cave while a blizzard raged all about. Does that sound at all familiar? How could it not? We just set off to rescue Ciri from Vilgefortz. Oh, our encounter with Vilgefortz. That is something I do not remember so fondly. That first stain, Beauclair, far calmer than this one. Seemed like a land straight out of a fairy tale back then. Its sole problem, the cellar's too small to accommodate all that wine. Appearances, Geralt. Appearances like Mamoons and Dopplers deceive. So what did become of Vilgefortz? Killed him. Sure wasn't easy, though. Hmm. What about you? Any idea where you'll go? Distance is of the essence. I thought I might let you sell. Nilfgaard? Why ever not? The Nilfgaardians are a modern society. None there believe in vampires anymore. This fact alone could be very useful to one wishing to remain incognito. Hmm. Interesting point of view. I so don't feel like going anywhere. Sit here a while longer? So we shall, my friend. We have witnessed, and in fact on several occasions incited, many great and weighty events. After all that toil, I believe we deserve a bit of a rest. That we do. Ah! I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> it freaks me out every time. I'm like, fourth wall, no! <laughs> Don't look at me! Oof. And CD Projekt Red is back to work with CD Projekt Red. Man. Here with Cyberpunk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was a good ending to the game. But wait. But wait, there's more. But <laughs> wait. Should we go back to the vineyard? Oh, is that an option? Yes. We yeah. should go back to the vineyard now. Okay. We should go back to the vineyard. Right now. <laughs> Wait, while this is playing though. Let's okay, talk let's about talk it. about it. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Oh my god, how long? This is gonna be like a two hour part. It's gonna be a long part. Well, we've been recording recording for two hours. It might be a little bit shorter, but. No, I know. But if we're gonna go back to Corvo Bianco too. But, yes. okay. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. You wanna start? No, you start. Okay. You, you played it for the first time. I've already played it. Yeah, guys, that was a really great DLC. Obviously, they created an entire new region for us to explore. A ton of secondary quests, some treasure hunts. The main story was really great, so I'm gonna have to give that DLC like a 9.5 out of 10. Yeah. I mean, I can't it's really. It's like a whole other game. A 10 out of 10 is just like one of those things like you don't give. Like, I mean, it was pretty perfect. It was close. Um, yeah, it was like a whole new game. The characters were good. Detloff was an emo motherfucker. <laughs> uh, Enjoyed that they added a lot of Gwent. That was fun. I had a good Gwent, time with a whole that. New, that's the thing. Like, um, Heart of Stone is good. It's a great story. But, like, Blood and Wine just feels like a whole new game. Mm -hmm. It almost feels like an extension. And they, like, made certain elements of the old game better in this one. Like, yeah. they kind of, like, switched things up. Like, they added more things in Gwent. They added little touches to, like... Um, the mutagen tree was kind of cool. Like, mutagen tree... The, well, Rune Rite was in Hearts of Stone. That's the nice thing they added there. Mm -hmm. And then there was also, like, you know, just, like, random things. Like, you the know, armor the... armor dies. Armor dies. The um, time lapse when you fix an abandoned site. Yeah. Like, I've noticed that they go from, like, cutscene seamlessly into action more, like... They do. They transition it nicely. More flawlessly. Yeah. Kind of like how Red Dead was. A little bit mm -hmm. how it went from cutscene to but uh, yeah but it, it was what good. I'm really what I'm feeling right now is just like a glass of wine no no actually I was gonna say it's been a long journey in The Witcher yeah I mean between Witcher 2 and Witcher 3 we didn't we never played the first one but between those two games it's been like eight months at the end when the whole blood and wine kind of like logo popped up and I put my arm around you it was just like 
dude, we've been on this eight month long journey between Witcher 2 and Witcher 3 and the DLCs. It's, it's been, been a, a lot of fun. Time. A lot of you have joined us for the ride, at least for parts of it, so we appreciate that. Yeah. Thank you guys so much. Um, we hope you enjoyed watching us. We are obviously going to go back to Corvo Bianco, so I guess technically we're not done. But, no. But uh, I hope you guys you know, stick around and, and stick with us for future playthroughs. We yeah, have... we're playing some other games. Um, oh, again. Oh, it? my goodness. Please vote. I'm going to put a poll up, probably at the beginning, and I'll put it here now. Maybe I'll stick it for the video. I don't know what I'm going to do, but please take a poll on what game you would like to see next. We have two in mind. Um, it is Senua's Sacrifice Hellblade, Hellblade Senua's Sacrifice, or A Plague's Tale Innocence. We don't know which ones to do first, so it would be like really helpful if you guys would take that poll to see which ones you want to see first. Absolutely. There will be possibly more Witcher stuff. We do want to do a live stream for the other path, possibly other endings too. Um, so definitely stick around for that. But yeah, we hope you guys stick Absolutely. around, watch us like fart around with other games. There's there's much more to come. Cyberpunk in September. Um, yeah. Absolutely, yeah. We have a lot. lot. We have a lot planned for the future, and yeah, we hope to continue streaming. So definitely tune in for that and our playthroughs if yeah. you can. We would greatly appreciate it. Yeah. So let's. let's but yeah, I guess we can't. We won't sign out now, but. No, yeah. Let's let's skip through. Let's go to Corvo Bianco and okay. like end our end our shit there. Okay. Actually, I'd love to go home. Me too. Let's go. I'm coming home. I'm coming, coming home. home. In the world, I'm coming home. <laughs> Where did we just go, by the way? He left. He just, like, teleported away? Yeah, he's off to Is Novigrad. He the we should play the, the Red Dead Redemption music when he's, like, on that, that final ride of his. Oh. That's the way it is. No. It's a dangerous weapon. So far, so far <sighs> away. No. It's so far, far so far away. When you when John Morrison's riding into Mexico, never forget. That's, what, that's Red Dead One, yeah. Red Dead One, <laughs> iconic. I got emotional. I was like, "What's happening?" It's so great. Go home. Go home. Be it ever so humble. Go home. Hey, didn't they all give us wine and stuff? Where's our new wine at? me in. Oh. 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 Pay attention. Master Witcher, some unknown individual barged into the residence. I resisted as best I could, but to no avail. Oh my god, who's gonna Alas, be? they did not do me the basic courtesy of introducing themselves. Oh god, here we go. Please use Zoltan. Please be sold. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> oh, look at the swords. Actually, it looks very good in here. Hmm, I would eat that cheese. Unexpected as ever. Yenny. <laughs> hey, baby. Missed you, boo. Oh, girl. She came back. She actually came to find us? Was ever. Wow. Oh. Won't you even ask why I've come? Or how I found you? Wouldn't hey. get a straight answer anyway. Quite oh. true. You used to bother me all your secrets. Now I know if you have something to tell me, you'll tell me. Don't need to ask. Wow. I missed you, Geralt. Madly. Oh. Come outside. Oh. We can hold hands and stare at the sky. Like some shitty two-crown romance. Beautiful. <laughs> Surprised. I don't think anyone was gonna make an appearance from the previous like the from the main game. Brought quite a few books. Let me guess. Working on a new spell? Not at all. These aren't grimoires, just pleasure reading. The name of the orchid. A widower for half a year. <laughs> 
Always thought you too busy to make time for something as impractical as pleasure reading. Because I was. But now, I'm not. A few weeks ago, I awoke to the realization that I know not what to do next. I have no plan. I have no goal. And you know what? I like that. Finally, I can stop thinking about politics and focus on what's important to me. Which is why I came here. Also, She's prioritizing little old girl? Yeah. Oh. Also, her shirt's clipping and it was really bothering me. Liking two cents. Oh my god, a chicken. <laughs> I saw that just disappear. The landscape's lovely and the towns are charming. No question. Is that a that. chicken? But. But the southern sun plays havoc with my wardrobe. To be blunt, wear black down here and you're pretty damn hot. Hmm. Might need to think about changing your color palette. Off white and pea green, for instance. <laughs> and I'll wear scents distilled from turnips and daisies. <laughs> I think I shall simply stay in the shade. And you'll bring me cool drinks at regular intervals. <laughs> Damn. The bring chicken! You whatever you want. Wow. Fucking wind. You know, feels kind of strange having a home. Hmm, I must say, I never pictured you owning real estate. <laughs> Was something of an accident, but I'm not about to complain. Yen, back then, before we fought the hunt, said you wanted to run away with me to the world's end. This vineyard, good enough? Hmm, yes, although there's one thing missing. Namely? I shall give you a hint. It's large. White has four legs. Category taxidermy. Oh my yeah. freaking god. The unicorn. <laughs> Fine. You can bring it down here. I knew you'd see things my way. Nasty. This bitch kinky. Ever thought this day would come? Me and you, peace and quiet. Bees buzzing, birds chirping. I almost regret delaying so long before coming to you. I was quite the silly goose. You have doubts? Though I imagine it might have been hard coming after me. Always were proud as a peacock. Please, Geralt. <laughs> I'm not like other sorceresses to feel that following someone means my wings have been clipped. Ooh, watch what you say about your colleagues. Remember, it's an ill bird that fouls its own nest. Well said, Witcher. You're not only handsome, but wise, too. I feel a bit like the cat that got the canary. Yeah, and I'm... Mm, damn it, you win. This time. Ha! <laughs> How'd that start, anyway? Our duels in wordplay. Forgotten. It was out of Vernissage in Van Ard. You started it to keep from going mad with boredom. I remember finding your sense of humor both grown-worthy and somehow endearing. Never change, Geralt. I beg you. Oh, well, well. Well. Oh, well. So, talk again later? Of course. I'm not going anywhere. Bring me drinks at regular intervals. Chop, chop. Yes! Oh my god, my ears. It's done! It's done, huh? Wait, let's go see what Regis left us. <gasps> Whoa! Oh my god, stop. Sorry. In the bedroom. <gasps> there it is. One second. First, you gonna snap her neck. Oh God. Damn. Okay. <laughs> Dear Geralt, if you're reading these words, it means I am already far beyond the borders of Tucson, and you have found my mutagenerator. Of course, you may dub this instrument however you like, perhaps something more fitting to your taste or better reflecting its function, for I have no doubt your knowledge of the subject of mutagens is far more profound and thorough than mine. I have been working on this device in my spare time, but now it is finished and I am convinced 
as convinced as an inventor can be before his invention has been used as intended, of the usefulness of this apparatus. You are surely wondering what function it is meant to serve. As the name indicates, the meter generator generates mutagens. It uh -huh. operates by absorbing electromag electromagical energy waves from bodies, in this case, the bodies of the monsters and evildoers you kill, and when it has absorbed enough so as to be charged with as to be charged a critical amount, the meter generator charges or changes the stored energy into a greater mutagen, which I suspect you will make a good use of. As you surely understand, I am an amateur engineer, which is why you must forgive the lack of an ability for you to direct this operation. Which mutagen emerging as a result is determined at random, meaning chance will decide if it is green, red, or blue. Chance yet. I have noted the colors tend to alternate by and large. I trust you shall find my gift useful. Your dearly devoted friend, Emil Regis Rachelich Terzif Gottfroy. You might be wondering why I decided to toss me jar into the, your home instead of simply handing it to you in person. Well, you must know I did it out of modesty. Believe it or not, take care, Geralt, and may my gift serve you. Okay. Nope. Take Dude. a rest. Take a nap. Wait. Place your trophy. No more trophies. Take a nap. Go to bed. Night night. Should we just call it here? Yep. Symbolic. Night night. Whoa, guys. The girl's taking a sleep. We're about to make dinner. We thank you guys so much for watching our Witcher playthrough. It has been a ride. Yeah, it really has. It has been so fun meeting and talking with so many of you about Witcher stuff. You guys are passionate, and that's a good thing. Absolutely. Absolutely. It really has been fun. I mean, I mean, we're still pretty new to this whole YouTube thing, and since we started playing the Witcher games, all of you guys that are passionate Witcher fans have, have come out and you know, commented pretty regularly on our videos, which we really appreciate. Yes, it, and and helped us grow. And, you know, we, we hope to grow more and play more things. And we hope you guys stick around. And we really appreciate the support. Absolutely. Um, and if you guys ever want to talk about Witcher some more. Hit us up. Hit us up. Guys, thank you so much for watching it, watching this video and supporting us. If you enjoyed this video, as always, please drop a like. As we just mentioned, we love when you guys comment, so just you know, comment below if you enjoyed this part, and subscribe to up, keep up with the rest of our future playthroughs and our streams. Good ma. <laughs> All right, guys. It's been real. Until next time, au revoir. That's really on on. Mm. Is that how you say goodbye? Au revoir. Toussaint. Right. Toussaint. Bye, guys. <laughs>